Black holes have been the most fascinating topics in cosmology and physics. Before starting the facts, you should know an elegant description of what a black hole is. So, what if someone asks you, what is a black hole? A simple definition to that answer would be, a black hole is a region of space having a gravitational field so intense that no matter or radiation can escape. So now that we have learned how to describe a black hole, we can now start for the facts. Let's quickly get started. Size and mass of a black hole are directly proportional. The size of a black hole is not really measurable, but there is an alternate way of measuring that. It is known as Schwarzschild radius. This is the radius of the event horizon of a black hole that was named after the German astronomer known as Karl Schwarzschild. Anyways, the size of the Schwarzschild radius is proportional to the mass of the collapsing star. For a black hole with a mass 10 times as great as that of the sun, the radius would be 30 kilometers. Here is my self-made diagram to show you what is a black hole's basic structure. So basically, we have our singularity and then we have the event horizon which is a black outlining and then we have the squash child radius around the singularity and then we have the squash child radius equation. So basically, we can say that the bigger the radius, the bigger is the black hole. The bigger the black hole, the denser it is. Which means that the point of singularity of a bigger black hole has more mass than the black hole that is comparatively smaller. Moving on to the next fact, we have the closest black hole. The closest black hole we know of is the V616 Monocerotus also known as V616 Mon. It's located about 3000 light years away and has mass between 9 to 13 times the mass of the sun. And it cannot be seen by the scientists but they have found the black hole because of its immense gravitational field. It's located in a binary system called A0620-00 with a star about being half the mass of the sun. We do not have enough information about this black hole yet because it's way too far and it's not even capturable. Also, the one thing I want to state here is that some of you may have heard about a black hole being 1600 light years away. There is no such black hole and you, should, you have been provided the wrong information by social media pages copying each other. If something travels faster than light, it can escape a black hole. Now, we know for a fact that there is nothing faster compared to the speed of light. But if we found particles like tachyon or other such hypothetical particles, possibly a body made of those particles can actually escape a black hole. I am going to make a video series on faster than light travel in which I will also explain tachyon in detail. Moving on to the next fact, who really discovered the black holes? The straightforward answer to this question is the good old astronomer Carl Schwarzschild. Once again, but it just can't be said that he was the one and only. In 1916, Einstein revived a theory on black holes inspired by a theory of a British physicist, John Mitchell back in 1783 on black holes. Now, the final fact. Size of a shrinked black hole. Black holes eventually shrink down to the size smaller than the size of an electron, which is a subatomic particle. At this stage, it reaches a size what is known as Planck's length. This length is actually the quantum size limit. Theoretically, nothing can become smaller than this and there is actually no instrument that can available that can measure Planck length. However, the value of Planck length is 1.6161926 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 35 meters. Now, I understand you didn't get that, so I have put 
subtitles down there and you can just take the information from there now if you enjoyed watching this video give it a big thumbs up or if you have anything to say about these facts or one of these facts well let me know down in the comment section peace out